Okay, so let's start now. So welcome to this Python programming tutorial. So first of all, let us understand what is Python. So Python is basically a easy to learn and a powerful programming language. Okay, it has efficient high level data structures and a simple but effective approach to object oriented programming. But so it's an interpreted language and it is not compiled. That is, it is compiled line by line and it is not compiled in one go. So each line is interpreted. Basically, in Python, you can do application as well as system programming. You can also make uh, system uh, modules as well as you can also write application programs in Python. What is the use of Python? Where all it is used? So it's got a huge range of use. It can be used to make web applications. You can make games in that. Heavily used in machine learning and artificial intelligence. Also heavily used in data science. These are advanced topics. Which, but uh, without the knowledge of Python, you may not be able to proceed into these areas. Then you can create some UI. Then you can build web scrapping applications, scrap data from the web. You can build business applications. You can work with CAD. You can build CAD applications. And also, basically, you can work with blockchain with, uh, or cryptocurrencies. Couple of things that you need to first do is, uh, you need to download, uh, start with the setup. So you have to download the Python version 3 for your OS and we will be using Visual Studio code for this training. Okay. So with these two setups, we are good to start. So you can download the Python or, or Python version 3 or our latest version from Python or and you can also download the IDE from Visual Studio. We are going to use these two to work. Okay. Now, once you do that, you have to check the version of the Python. Once you have installed the Python, you'll have to check whether, you know, Python version what is the version you can do it like and basically let us look at how to run python so you can type python on your machine start the python interpreter you can print hello world you can print some numbers okay then you have floating point you can check the power raise to sorry you can raise a power raise and once you want to come out of this you can create a variable x equal to zero then it will print once you want to do, use exit you will come out of the python prompt so all this is covered in the demo video which is next which is the hands-on video so uh, you can basically check the version and start printing and uh, running basic python against the command prompt okay you can try all of this uh, it will in the upcoming video the entire demo is given now creating variables now how do we create variables in python variables can contain strings and numbers but cannot start with a number there are some rules underscore characters can appear in variable but other special characters cannot be part of the name and you cannot use result words like except with assert because these are used by uh, Python itself in programming. So these things you cannot use. A couple of the last three uh, ones which are wrong is if you see here, you cannot have a variable with this name starting with number. You cannot not have a ending with an under a special character. But this is valid. If you have a number uh, in the name of the variable and underscore in between, then that is valid. Okay. Now, what are the data types? You don't need to declare a variable. You don't need to say string x equal to integer, but you can just say x equal to a value. Whatever value when first assigned, will link the assigned object to the variable. Like if you say x equal to 10, it will become an integer. Okay. So data type integer typically value is represented by the int class. It contains positive or negative whole numbers. And uh, there is no limit. Integers can be as long as you want. Float is basically for decimal point. Right. And you can also have complex numbers. Uh, you can have like uh, big complex numbers uh, data type also in. We have in Web Python. So integer float. Now let's look at some data types here. Other ones are like typically string. Then you have a list. Let's say at top if you see here a equal to five. So if you want to find out the type of what is the data type of that, it will tell, uh, it will show it will print int here. And if you want to check out what is this, it will print float. And this one also it will print the complex. Now all this is covered in the demo video in the next next uh, video that is coming up. Now also you can uh, you don't need to create a string like this. It's just to, so if you want to create a string, you'll say x equal to hello there. If you want to create a list, list is a data structure. You can say x equal to abc. Okay. Now a couple of arithmetic operators, typical arithmetic operators that you have in Python are plus, minus, multiplication. 
float deviation, integer deviation. Okay, all these methods are there. You also have binary integer division. If you know what you're doing, but okay. But basically, we mostly use the addition, subtraction, multiplication. Now, compare is an operator. Now, this is how we used to compare equal to, not equal to, less than equal to. You know, these are the operators. If condition, if while condition, and all you're going to do, not equal to, equal to, equal to. Okay, in, not in. So if you have a list here, x, it will check. If you say x in list, it will check whether one is x is there in one. Is not okay. Check if x is in referencing. So you can use is and not in also in addition to equal to equal to not equal to less than greater than equal to etc. Now apart from this, you also have logical operators, right? You want to see x and y. If some condition on the left and both are true, then you'll use the end. Built-in function. Now Python has got many additional built-in functions, very powerful functions. You can have round, par, absolute, etc. Okay. Also type is a kind of an internal function. Then you can also do data type conversion from string to int, anything like from one data type to another, you can have float strings, etc. And you have other radix functions also. All this is covered in the demo coming up. Now, if you want to do any bitwise operators, this is for like, you know, at the bit level, if you want to do some binary ones, that is also available. These are the methods. You can do a bitwise and, or, not, XOR, left shift, right shift, etc. Now data types. Now for let us look at string. Now string can be like you know it's an important data type. It can be single or double quote enclosed. And basically strings are immutable. That like, you know you cannot change the value. But you have string functions which will return like you no know, upper replace. Basically this will return a new string object, somewhat similar in other languages like in Java. So the basic string cannot be muted or changed. But you will get a different uh, string object of the same, and it can be declared as a single quotes or in double quotes. So string is an important uh, feature in Python. 